What's going on guys? I'm Seabreezy Bearded and today we have another review for you, but we are going to mix it up a little bit. Today we are going to have a beard product gauntlet, alright? So we are going to review Ferocious Beard Company and we are going to review Beard Gents at the same time. So let's hit that intro and then we'll dive more into the products what they're like, and what the Beard Gauntlet is. Alright guys, so, like I said, Today we are going to review both Ferocious Beard Company and Beard Gens at the same time for what I am calling the Beard Product Gauntlet. So, by the end of this, we are going to have a rating for each one of these companies between 1 to 5 for a uh, Sea Breezy Bearded rating. Alright? So, at that being said, obviously 5 is going to be the best, 1 would be the worst. Uh, neither one of these companies fall beneath a 4, so let's go ahead and get that out there. And uh, this is something that I wanted to try out and see how we can make this happen and uh, see what this would look like. So here we are. We're going to do it and we're going to try it out. All right. So first we're going to start with Ferocious. All right. Ferocious has been around since uh, 2017. Their owner is Nate and his wife and him make these products together. They do a great job. They have a really good quality product. And uh, this is the butter to go with the oil. So the scent that I have from Ferocious is the Havana Getaway. All right. So Havana Getaway is a pure cigar scent. Um, they have over like 50 plus scents or so on their website and a bunch of different options. And so, but uh, when I was doing this comparison, or I shouldn't say comparison, but putting them side by side and against each other, I wanted to try and get scents that were somewhat similar. So this is just what I ended up with. So we got that from Ferocious. From Beard Gents, we got the El Caballero, which is a um, tobacco, bourbon, and leather scent. And then we got their butter as well. So Beard Gents started in 2019. It's been around for a year. They just celebrated their one-year anniversary a couple weeks ago. And their owner's name is Jay, and they're based out of Miami. Ferocious is based out of Texas. So, uh, you know, there's obviously differences there and everything like that. And just putting it all out there for you guys so that everybody knows what's going on. All right. So, let's look at the uh, oil consistency. So, with uh, Ferocious, they have their carrier blend, which is um, sweet almond oil, apricot oil, grapeseed oil, jojoba oil, essential and or fragrance oils all right but you also have the option to add castor oil into it if you prefer a thicker oil i chose to add castor oil into it because i do prefer a thicker oil for the most part so let's get this nice and filled up and look at that color it is a nice gold color all right put a drop in the hand and see it's it's on the lighter side still. The castor oil didn't thicken it up too much, but it's a, you know, a medium light to medium, I would say. And uh, it's really nice. I enjoy it. I enjoy this dropper a lot because, watch this. So, you know, with having the beard length that I have, I'm at almost a full dropper probably just about. Uh, some days I may overuse, but just one little push and it usually fills right up to almost the top of the dropper which I like I like that a lot so it's good quality dropper and then you got their butter which is a poured butter all right and it's real nice let's get a little bit on the finger there not that much so that's the butter and it melts down really really easily and it does smell really nice. It smells just like a, um, like a nice Cuban cigar, or like a uh, humidor type. You know, it's got that very nice cigar scent to it, and it comes across very nice and manly. I enjoy it a lot. 
And then uh, when you look at beer gents, all right, so beer gents, you have grapeseed oil, sweet almond oil, castor oil, argan oil, essential oil slash fragrance oil blend. All right, so let's take a look at this oil. The dropper does not fill up as well as ferocious is, but that's all right. But again, you have a nice gold colored oil, okay? And there's it's about the same on that light to medium thickness, but a little bit more on the medium side or thicker side than ferocious. And then their butter is a whipped butter, okay? So I had to warm this up a little bit because it's still a little bit tough, but it's all right. So there's what it, that looks like, all right? And it's gone, you know? Melts down really easily. So, and this is uh, four ounces in a one ounce oil from Beer Gents and a two ounce butter and a one ounce oil from Ferocious. All right, so let's talk down the Beard Gauntlet, okay? So the Beard Gauntlet, we are not here to say that either one of these companies are better than the other one necessarily. All right, I am just trying to give you guys an honest review of two companies' products at the same time. So, Beard Gents, the scent profile is going to last you all day. All right, this is something that I will put on at, let's see, what is that, five o'clock in the morning, roughly, between five and 5.30, and this scent is still coming out of my beard. I'm still getting hints of it throughout the day from the wind blowing at, you know, uh, let's see, probably six, seven, eight o'clock. All right, so you're gonna get a really long scent duration out of the El Caballero. All right, and then the uh, ingredients, since I didn't mention it before, in the butter is mango butter, shea butter, grapeseed oil, sweet almond oil, castor oil, argan oil, and essential slash fragrance oil blend. All right, so that is a really good quality. That's definitely a five star or a five C breezy rating on the scent profile. All right, and how long it lasts. It smells really good. It got several compliments on the way my beard smelt. It was awesome, guys. Absolutely loved it. All right, so the combo price for uh, Beard Gents for the butter and oil is $36.99. All right, if you only want to go with the oil, that's going to be $16.99. If you want to go with the four ounce butter, that's going to be $24.99. And then uh, if you buy them separately, or my bad, with the combo with shipping is going to bring you at $44.99. All right, because it's an $8 shipping rate, which is a flat shipping rate, and it's going to arrive fast. It ships. It's the fastest that they can offer, and uh, I literally ordered this on uh, April the 29th and received it two days later on May 1st. So it says a lot about the shipping that's going on there. That, again, even though it's a flat shipping rate of $8, which, you know, can sometimes be a turnoff for some people. Getting it in two days is a big plus, so I'm still going to give that a 4C, a 4C Breezy bearded rating on that just because of how fast it shipped. All right, so, and then they offer uh, custom holds on their balms. I did not receive, <coughs> excuse me, or order any balms from either one of these companies. I just wanted to do their oils and butters, but Beer Gents does offer custom amount of hold on their bombs so if you prefer a lighter hold bomb they can make you a lighter hold bomb if you prefer it as a medium they can make you a medium if you prefer a very strong hold bomb they can make that for you which is really cool all right and then they also and that's a two ounce bomb that they offer and that's going to run you $19.99 all right they have great customer service they uh let's see here they offer eight cents all right and let's see if there's anything else that I'm missing here oh, as far as that goes. No, there's not. So they offer eight different scents, all right? The prices are right there towards the top end of that market, getting up there with the higher end uh, prices. So, you know, it's right there at the high, high end of the market medium, uh, which is fine. You know, it's worth it. It's definitely worth it. So they're going to get a four star on that, you know, or a four C breezy bearded rating on that. And then as far as the conditioning goes, the conditioning of this whipped butter with this oil from Beard Gents, I absolutely loved it. My beard loved it. The, how, the way my beard felt was freaking nuts, guys. 
So the softness that my beard felt, the conditioning of my skin underneath, the conditioning of the beard hair as it laid there, it definitely gets a 4.8 C Breezy Bearded rating. It was great. I absolutely loved it. Uh, there's only maybe like one or two other products that I have that really compete with this one as far as uh, softness and conditioning of my beard. So that was a big, big plus. Definitely enjoyed that. All right. So now let's talk about Ferocious. All right. Ferocious is a little different. So Ferocious, the scent profile doesn't quite match, but I tried to get it as close as I could with what I was offered. All right, so they offer a four ounce butter, which is gonna run you $24.99. They offer a one ounce oil, and I have the Havana Getaway, by the way, that's the name of it. That is a, that's gonna run you $16.99. For a two ounce oil, that runs you $24.99. You have an option of a one ounce oil or a two ounce oil, which is really cool. And then when you're getting your oil, you can add on a two ounce butter instead of a four ounce butter for $18.99, all right? Or you can add a two ounce balm for $19.99. So the total of my order for the oil and the balm was $35.98, all right? And that was, let's see here, that was before shipping if I remember correctly. I think I wrote that down correctly. That was before my shipping. It was $35.98. So that's a really good deal in itself, especially in these COVID times and everything like that. And the fact that they're presenting us with so many options of whether we want a one ounce oil, a two ounce oil, four ounce butter, or two ounce butter, it creates a more flexibility in your budget for you to actually be able to afford beard products. Uh, because they're right there at the same price range as beard gents as far as uh, creating a... Uh, you know, right there at the high end of the market average as far as the prices. All right, so that's definitely a great quality and a big check mark. I give them a five on the Sea Breezy Bearded rating for that by itself, okay? Because I like that. I like that there's options as far as pricing goes and everything like that. I love that. All right, and then let's see here. They offer two different types of uh, shipping. They have a first class shipping with tracking, which is gonna run you $4.99. And then they have the USPS Priority Mail, which is going to run you $7.99. So there's availability and options there, too. Now, it did get delayed a little bit on my order. I did order it on the same day as Beard Gents on April 29th, and I received it seven days later on May 6th. So not a big deal to me, really. Um, but it's still going to drop You know their rating. They're going to receive a you know 4 to 4.2 range Sea Breezy Bearded rating on that just because you know it's not the same as getting if you when you order beer gents you know that you're getting a two-day shipping on that no matter what all right guys sorry uh, there was a slight delay so hopefully I can try to remember exactly where I was at uh, I think we were talking about shipping so shipping of the stuff was you know a little bit slower than beer gents but uh, it's all worked out fine no big deal all right but you know you're getting that of it's part of being able to uh, have the option to create a more affordable uh, payment plan for you know you getting your beard products. So still really cool, still really love it. Nate's a great dude, his wife's a great dude, Jay's a great dude. I absolutely love both these companies, guys. I really do. Um, I loved Nate's products for sure, but I'm when it comes to the conditioning of the beard, beard gents definitely takes the cake against Ferocious as far as conditioning of beard. All right, and conditioning my skin underneath and my beard in general. So don't get me wrong, definitely created a soft, nice feeling beard, but Beard Gents is just a tad bit better in my opinion when it comes to the overall conditioning. All right, so I'm going to give Ferocious a 4.2 to 4.5 range for uh, conditioning, all right? So in the butter, you have shea butter, lanolin, essential, and or fragrance oils, and that's it, all right? So, uh, definitely enjoyable as well. Definitely feels good in the beard. Definitely is light on the beard and everything like that. Does not weigh it down, but it's just not quite as conditioning as the beard gents, beard butter, and oil combination, all right? So, uh, that being said, they offer a bunch of custom scents as well. Like I said, Ferocious does offer more scents than Beard Gents. They have over 50 plus scents, and they do custom scents as well. And Nate does a YouTube channel every, I want to say it's Wednesday night, which is a um, where he creates custom scents with uh, his customers and everything, which is really cool. It's a nice touch and a nice spin on everything. And they both have really great customer services, all right? So 
my overall ratings for both of these companies and the way I see it. All right, if you're looking for an affordable with a beard product that is going to be very good for your beard, treat it very well, nourish your skin underneath, nourish the beard hairs and everything like that, and be able to have some options in your affordability for the products, then Ferocious is the way to go, all right? If you're just wanting a all-out really good beard product and the price isn't as much of a concern to you, I recommend Beard Gents, all right? But it's not saying that I don't recommend Ferocious for if price is not an option to you, all right? Or if you don't care about the price of it. But if I'm putting these side by side as far as a sea breezy bearded rating, all right, I'm going to give uh, Beard Gents a 4.7 uh, sea breezy bearded rating, and I'm going to give Ferocious a 4.5, all right? Just because the conditioning was not quite as good as Beard Gents. Still a really great product, felt great in the beard, but was not quite as conditioning as what Jay has going on at Beard Gents. So, like I said, I love both of these companies. I've enjoyed getting to talk with both of them. I've enjoyed their customer service. They are great dudes. They have a great business. They have a great ingredients and everything. They have great products. There's nothing wrong with either one of these companies. I'm not here to tell you that one is better than the other absolutely necessarily. This is just my own opinion on how it felt in my beard. So that's where we're at. I hope you guys have enjoyed the beard product gauntlet <laughs> review, all right? So I definitely recommend Ferocious and I definitely recommend Beard Gents for everybody or anybody to try out if you're interested in either one. If you've been on the fence and you just haven't been able to make up your mind, I definitely recommend both of them. I enjoyed both. Both are going to remain on my beard shelf as long as I am have my beard growing. And uh, yeah, so I mean that's it guys. Uh, like I said, I definitely recommend them. I hope you guys check them out. I hope you guys like this content. If you do, let me know in the comments so that I can keep making more videos like this. And this is not to put them against each other as far as like actually, oh, this company is better than this one or anything like that, okay? This is just purely to give you guys a more honest review process and trying to show you like between two different options and where my brain would go at when trying to look at uh, these two options and deciding which one I would go with. All right, so as always, guys, please subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Hit that like button. It always helps the channel. And, of course, hit the comments like I've already mentioned. If you're watching on Instagram, please make sure you're following me if you aren't already. And make sure to hit that heart because we're Instagram. We don't do thumbs up there. We do hearts for our likes. And hit the comment section. And as I say in every video, guys, and I mean this, I really do from the bottom of my heart. If you don't want to hit the comments, that's fine. If you want to direct message me or talk about anything at all, my direct messages are open. You guys can always DM me. I don't care if you guys flood them. I really don't. I love chatting with you guys. I love getting to know you. I love making the connections with you guys. I love getting to know what you're getting into, all right? So obviously, if you want to talk beard stuff, I love talk beard stuff with you guys, but that's not what we have to talk about. We can talk about anything and everything under the sun. If you want to talk about sports, you want to talk about COVID, you want to talk about fishing, you want to talk about hunting, you want to talk about just your daily life, what's going on at home, your kids, anything like that. I love chatting with you guys. I love getting to know you. I find that the very thing that's keeping me to continue doing this stuff is creating these personal relationships with you guys because I know that you're actually watching my videos. I know that you're taking my content to heart and I know that you guys are appreciating the fact that you're able to get honest reviews and then that you're able to come and connect with me. I love connecting with you guys and that just makes this whole community a real community and that's what I love. I love being able to connect with you guys. It's my favorite thing in the world. So I hope to hear from you guys if I haven't already. And please know that if I don't respond right away that I will respond, okay? I'm not ignoring you. Sometimes I just get a little busy and get a little crazy with my own stuff as well. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. And see Breezy Bearded out, and we'll see you next time.